Okay, I'm gonna do another video tour of the site. So, if I can line up properly. Okay, so a quick para main access tour through. So, let's start with the road. It's right there. Um, reason to believe all of the rocks, pebbles, and such you see here all mainly roofing tiles and flooring of the original Ming tomb was here. So walking through you've got here would have been stairs. These mounds that you see here would have been the original roofing as the um, main entrances had very in intricate and very detailed and a lot of roofing. I tried to dig down here to try to find the main. They normally have a carved platform or a carved slope in the middle of the stairs. Couldn't find it. Um, so you got these. Um, beam supports. These here would have had the um, the gate. The actual doorway would have sat in these. You can see the square indent in the rock furthest. That would be where the main hinge of the door would be. You got these old steps. You got a whole pile of old porcelain such for the roofing here and a whole bunch here um, if you look in the distance it's all farmland um, I tried to have a peek around the boundary couldn't find any roofing tiles which means the side walls have been gone long ago so this is the main walkway down very um, predictable imperial walkway architecture and that's where the um, altar silk altar uh, where they've burnt paper offerings and offerings of silk also over there then the main stairs into the main first building um, yeah, so oh, yeah, this is the st this is the um, plaque slope piece of granite that I was telling you about. Um, there should have been one there earlier, but I couldn't see it. Um, you got some holes inside here. Those would have been for um, columns, so there would have been a nice um, three entrance gate here. Um, that would have wooden columns going up, um, up it, um, with very in intricate um, roof. I'm just going to skip over to this bit. Just spotted this. It's a um, large pile of porcelain, but there's also this rock here. Um, Looks like it's part of this one underneath here. Um, but all of these have been piled up in this corner. Not sure why. Um, I think I'll just post this video raw to YouTube without editing. Alright, let's put down my books and notes. Clear a bit of this way. See what I can guess what this is. Ah, oh, I know now. Okay, so these parts here, and there's one missing here. Um, this would have been part of this slope kind of thing. Um, these holes, um, as you can see, these these are thinner 
longer and then you've got the top ones that are square which would mean that um, underneath these this would have been the top, the bottom and that would be the bottom and these would go here so it would be like a, a granite railing right, that's interesting right, um, now this side okay, there's a guard coming Right, so that was a quick pause. Um, I just got in trouble for digging around in the porcelain shards. <laughs> um, he doesn't know English, but um, he got the message quite clear. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm still allowed to look around, but I'm just not allowed to um, start digging around. <laughs> um, okay, so um, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I was over there. Um, so it's all mounded dirt right so but on this side you can actually see this is the other side entrance you can see another um, one there underneath the, the railing here you can see the side of the foundations um, so, yeah, so all this amount of dirt on top would have um, it's got the remnants of it but uh yeah let's see if I see any so yeah the foundations are all moving these pine trees have probably been here for uh, at least since the fall of the Qing dynasty so about a hundred years at least well, approximately, I would guess. Um, these sides here are all plain, which would have meant there would have been a garden here with a wall going out, out that way, out right angles from the wall, about this point, which also looks probably correct since there's a, a line here of um, pottery shards going out oh, so that would mean that this mound that you see in front um, would be the back of the building you can't actually see the foundations under that which I'm not going to dig <laughs> can't be got in trouble for that um, so yeah, so that would mean that this, yeah, you can see, the, um, that and that, well actually there's, there's a few here, but, um, this rock here, um, shows that it's, um, there would have been steps here, and so that would have been another wall, going backwards, going back. Um, so yeah, which means that this piece that I originally thought was part of the building behind me was is actually the stone foundations for an, a stone entrance through this wall. Um, several of the tombs have got a stone entrance as also part also several wooden entrances so common sense would show that they're probably just copying each other um, so yeah, you can see here there's, there's a lot of um, carved pieces here it's a shame I can't find anything with written text on it means I can't go and translate it but um yeah and then there's these this these stone foundations for wooden pillars so there would have been three sets of gates with a stone entrance in the middle and a wooden entrance set of gates on either side of it which is classic imperial architecture 
and I think that's all I can find and figure out from this site um, which means this will be my final video of three I should go before my hands fall off from the cold and before I break my ankle walking over all these rocks and porcelain shots and before I get in trouble again uh, so grass I'll talk to you later